what is up you guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we are decorating for christmas and i'm so excited about it and it's just like putting me in the best mood it is also sunday so we're doing sunday soup later tonight and i'm hoping tonight's recipe is a good one because it's a new one that i've never tried and like i'm actually going to be following step by step the recipes so i don't do that often when it comes to soup so i hope it's going to be good so if you guys are interested like make sure you stay there we're also probably gonna go christmas decor shopping once we've taken out like everything that we have also you guys we did so much cleaning up yesterday it literally took up the entire day it wasn't necessarily like cleaning it was more like reorganizing so let me show you guys what we did okay so i'm in our spare bedroom we don't use this closet at all so what we did is we like reorganized it and it kind of looks empty but like basically this is our halloween bin with all our halloween decorations and then we've got like are two Christmas bins. They go right over here. So they're super easy access to like take our decor out and all of that. So that's great. We've got some like spare coats here that we don't use all the time. And then a few like knickknacks. We also got this that was in the closet originally. We are getting rid of this. Also a whole bunch of university and CJEP like books that we are probably gonna try to sell, but we both don't think they're gonna sell. So we'll probably end up throwing this out, unfortunately, but like it is what it is. This my brother's coming to pick up tomorrow because we're not keeping this. Our two Christmas bins that probably need a little bit of organizing, but we upgraded this bin. It used to be so much smaller and there's so much space in it now, so that's great. You guys, look at our Christmas tree. I put it up yesterday. It looks so good. And then I also took out this blanket right here that we got last year at Homesense. It has these little Christmas trees on it and it looks so cute with our neutral decor. And our beautiful tree okay and while we're in the living room where everything is decorated already with the christmas tree and our cozy blanket i thought i would come on here and talk to you guys about anna luisa you guys know i've collaborated with them in the past and i have a whole bunch of jewelry from them and honestly with putting everything up for christmas it's just kind of got me in the what am i getting everybody in my family mood like just kind of thinking about all of that and i thought i would show you guys some of the products that i recently got from anna luisa that are so cute and would be such a great gift to give to honestly anyone now personally i got a lot of things that are more dainty so of course adapt to whoever you're trying to purchase for let me show you guys what i got these pieces are so cute you guys i'm so excited also all the pieces come in these like little pouches which i think is so cute and i usually keep these and just keep my jewelry in there first thing that i got is this little ring look at how cute this is and i got it to put on this finger and it looks so cute and it's kind of shiny for christmas time this is gonna be so cute during the holidays next i got this necklace right here i don't know if you guys can see it properly but like how cute i didn't take the little plastic off of the little um pendant here but it's like a double layered necklace the first chain has these little beads on it that's that are like integrated in it and i love the look of this one of my friends has a chain like this and i absolutely love it it is so cute and i just needed to get myself one and i know that anna luisa has amazing pieces at amazing prices and such great quality that's gonna last me so long so i decided to get one of these and i decided why not get two necklaces at the same time like how cute is this gonna be next i got this little chain right here i love the like I guess pattern of this i think it's so cute one of my favorites honestly and i actually have a matching chain from anna luisa that i plan on wearing like the chain and then this on my on my wrist the last thing that i got is this this little chain with the little pearls on it it's a bracelet actually and it matches the necklace which i'm so excited to just like pair i love having a matching bracelet and necklace literally the two bracelets that i showed you guys i have the matching necklaces and i'm so excited to wear them during the holidays but i also think that all of these would be such good pieces to gift and they do have a sale going on right now they have up to 30 percent off their pieces so if you're interested i do have a link down below for you guys so make sure to check out that link to get your loved ones or yourself some cute pieces because gifting is also for yourself so if you want to give something to yourself check out the link they have so many different options that match so many different styles so make sure you check it out okay and then now we're in our living room and we've got this closet right here i know you guys can't fully see me but in this closet, we have like a lot of 
like storage space and this is like our harry potter closet so it goes like under our upstairs neighbor's stairs and we basically reorganized everything the back of it is all of our camping gear we've got our air conditioner right here and then some paint equipment on the side here and it's just like overall just so much better than what it was before so very happy with that but yeah we are decorating today and i don't like i don't know why i look so rough i feel like i just really didn't sleep that great you guys so i look kind of puffy but it is what it is right now our dilemma is we really want to put out some christmas lights on our little balcony right here like just on the little railing but there's no outdoor plug but there is an outdoor light so we need to take the outdoor light off and put in like an extension to plug in the lights we're not able to figure out how to take the light off it's super old super rusty and there's like no screws that are accessible at least so my dad's probably going to stop this afternoon to try to figure out how to take it off we might just end up ripping it out because it is so disgusting and we honestly never use it anyways and next summer we would probably just put some like lights on top you know like those little twinkle lights that you can put on the top of your balcony to give some ambiance so we might do that so regardless like we don't need the light anymore so that's what's going on right now i've just prepped our little christmas tree that always goes in our bedroom it's kind of crooked i'm gonna have to fix it but this one goes in our bedroom i bought this for my bedroom when i lived at my parents house and I love it. I think it's so cute to put like as decor. Okay, you guys, I had just gotten dressed for the day and then Alex ran into the bedroom while I was talking to you guys and he got our matching Vlogmas shirts and our matching pajamas, pajamas. out. So we're matching for decoration. I got these made in 2021, Vlogmas 2021. It, I made like the little logo with the little trees. Obviously it wasn't the greatest quality, but like whatever. They're still cute, and I still can't believe I made these in 2021. I was like invested. I was like, I'm making Vlogmas sweaters, and I did Vlogmas in 2021. I think that was the last year I did Vlogmas. You did two, two years I in did a row. Two years. I am never doing that ever again. I don't know why YouTubers would do that. I mean, it's definitely entertaining for us, and I guess I get it. It's their career, but like, holy crap, that is a lot of work. Very overwhelming. But yeah, we're all ready. We're gonna start decorating. Where do you want to start? The living room? The living room. Are you sure? Because that's like the biggest part that we have to do. Sure. You know what we should do is start with the bathroom because that's the easy, easiest part to do. Yeah, like the little Noel sign. Okay, and let's do it. Here, we're going to start in the bathroom. Okay, so this is what we're working with. Last year, I put up a few decorations here and I think it could be really cute. I have this gingerbread candle that I really lit a lot last year. As you can tell, it's like pretty much empty, but it's a wood wick and I haven't been able to find another one like this at home sense so i'm thinking i'm gonna put it like somewhere like this like at the end here and then i have like a noel sign that's gonna go here and probably some like trees right there i think that could be so cute okay so this is what we're working with for our decorations we got everything out um so this right here is the noel sign that's gonna go in the bathroom i'm just trying to figure out what kind of trees i want beside it because i've got a few wooden things so i don't think i would put the wooden things with this and then i have maybe this that i could put beside it I'm not sure with maybe like this one or maybe this one that one could be cute like those two and the Noel sign yeah I think like that could work because it's not a very tall space so I can't put the taller ones anyways so I think we're gonna do these ones okay so this is what I've got going on right now I think it's cute it's definitely more like minimalistic but like this is our bathroom it doesn't need to be like a big ordeal but I'm also thinking maybe I could just switch these trees now that I'm looking at it and have the white one at the back. Like this. Like, oh yeah, I think this looks so much better. I think this looks a lot more full. So I think this is the final look. The only sad part is that these don't work anymore. But I feel like they add to the look of just like being there, honestly. Just have to like maybe fix this a little bit. But like, cute. I like it. Next, I added this little tree in our bedroom. And yes, our setup is weird with the TV in front of the mirror. We literally have to move the mirror, but we just haven't. We're too lazy to do that right now. And we don't have anywhere else to put it. But yeah, I've got the little tree here. I'm not sure about the decorations on it, though. They're not like my color scheme, but I still think it kind of looks cute. So probably just going to leave it like that because it's still kind of cute. Okay, I just brought the mirror right here because ideally this is where we would want it. And then look what I did here. Like, yeah, we got some things right here. I'm just going to 
move this but like look at this look at how cute this is the only thing is that we put like our sunglasses in there and like alex puts his wallet there because we don't have any drawers here but i think we're gonna change this soon probably in the winter like 2024 for sure it's not gonna be right now but we're probably gonna change this for something with drawers in it so i think that's gonna be a big help and it's also gonna be wooden so it's gonna go so much better with the thick black wood like side that this is but i think this is gonna be so cute in our entryway and honestly just bringing it here it feels so much homier don't you feel yeah. i feel like it looks like and feels super homey right now okay so in the living room right now yes we still have a pumpkin it's still like intact we don't want to just throw it out so we're not sure what to do with it for now but we've got these little trees and then i've got a little snowman this little candle holder and then we have this that alex's mom gave us that i don't know if it's gonna stay there but we don't have anywhere else to put it for now and i'm also gonna buy some like cord hiders i don't know how to call them but i need to buy some because these are like getting on my nerves and then i want to get like a really nice garland that we would put across and these are our two christmas socks that we're gonna hang like on this door if we can find some things to hang them from in our dining room we only have this we do a lot of things at the table especially alex so we really don't have a lot of room to have stuff on the table so we're just doing this and in our bathroom we kind of improvise with this little tree we put it in this with like our toothbrush holder and our soap dispenser and then you guys already saw this little corner and now alex is trying to figure out the garland around the um, mirror we're gonna figure it out but we're probably gonna put that either there or i was like thinking no i was thinking we could put it on top of our bed oh uh, yeah that could be nice and then we have this right here that i really don't know what's going on our little tree and that's pretty much what's going on for now we are gonna head out and go to the stores see what we can find and hopefully we find some cute little things i don't want to spend a whole bunch of money but there are a few little things that i'd like to buy and i might end up ordering some stuff from amazon as well okay we ended up putting the little garland over our headboard and i think it looks super cute we also have our pajamas there because we did a little outfit change so yeah little outfit change got my uggs on we're going christmas decor shopping and i'm excited i also ended up switching putting my little tree here and putting that over here i think that looks better we're also gonna ask my dad because he is coming over later to help us out i think i'm gonna ask him to mount this on our entrance wall I just have to like mark the spots right away so he doesn't have to do that all he has to do is like drill put it up that's that's all so it won't take too much time so i don't want to take too much of his time because he's not coming over to do that but i would love it if he could mount this for us at the entrance and then i'm gonna try to find something to mount the tv up here eventually it's not we're not gonna be in a hurry for that but it would be nice to have it mounted you guys i look like a marshmallow i just took this jacket out i got it last year at h m it's so cute and gives all the cozy vibes and then with the uggs like so cute i love it and we're heading out you guys look what we found at home sense this is so cute on the bed and like yeah we still have our pajamas there but like how cute and their little bows are green so they match the garland and like the vibe of our christmas decor little update you guys um my dad came over we got the light situation figured out for outside so i'll show you guys a little later once it gets dark outside so probably in like an hour or something like that i'll be able to open the lights and show you guys what we ended up doing but then while he was here and it literally took him five seconds to take the thing off we just really didn't want to break it and he was like took it off and it was super easy for him so yeah while he was here, I had him put up the mirror in the entryway. So now we have a mirror in our entryway. And tomorrow I'm probably gonna go, which you guys are gonna come with me, I'm probably gonna go buy our new console table for the entrance. It's not gonna arrive right now. I think it's arriving end of December, but I'm gonna go order that right now and I'm gonna be selling this one. And then there's also a like sideboard buffet type of situation that I really wanna get for in our kitchen. We're not in our kitchen, our dining room that I might pre-order as well because it's really inex inexpensive. So I want to get it before they raise the prices. But yeah, and I also just turned out our Christmas tree. I think look at how cute. I love this. Like our living room looks so cozy. I love it. Okay, you guys, I have showered since the last time. Talked to you guys, put my pajamas back on, but I put this Harvard sweater on instead because it's a little bit more oversized than my vlogmas sweater 
Also, if you can hear music in the background, I'm so sorry, Alex is listening to his music right now. But we're going to open the Christmas lights on the balcony and I really want to show you guys. All right, you guys, let's open these up. Oh my God, so cute. The little lights outside. Now the screen is in the way, but like how cute is this? I love it, you guys. It is adorable. All right, you guys, it's time to make our soup. The soup that we're making tonight is a deconstructed wontong soup. It kind of looks like this, and I think it's gonna be really good. The first step is to put in the pork in a container. I'm supposed to have celery to put in here, but it only calls for one celery branch, and I didn't wanna buy a whole celery for just one celery branch, and I'm out of all my other celery. So we're just dealing, actually, I might actually have some celery left. I'm gonna have to, see but if i don't have any left i didn't buy any so i'm not going to put any in there then i need to put some garlic in the pork ground pork so i've got some garlic right here it calls for fresh ginger i don't have fresh ginger so i'm just going to do powdered ginger i know it's not the same so if you have fresh ginger use fresh ginger but i'm just going with what i have next i need fish sauce oyster sauce and soya sauce as well as some sesame oil and some sort of spice or like not spice but like spicy things so i'm gonna use this right here that we have it calls for sambal sambal oleg which is like a spicy like i don't know it, it, we used to buy it all the time we don't buy it anymore we buy this one now so i'm just gonna use this instead and some sugar so that's what the meat base is so i'm gonna go ahead and start with that right now good news you guys i had some frozen celery so i'm gonna use this all right so i've got my meat mixture here so i've got my celery some garlic i've got my spicy little thing fish sauce sesame oil oyster sauce soy sauce some i already said garlic and then some powdered ginger and i'm gonna mix this up i just added some sesame oil into my big pot this one right here that I use to make all my soups. I'm attempting to mix this. It is very hard. I've made a few messes and I'm usually very good at mixing things. So my bowl is definitely not big enough, but it smells so good. So I'm really hopeful that this is going to be super yummy. Once the oil is heated, I'm going to put the meat on the stove. All right, you guys, I added the meat mixture into the pan right now it's heating up i need to cook it all through and i'm currently going through some wonton wrappers that i've had in the freezer um some of them are no longer good like the bottom ones are not good anymore so i'm gonna not use those ones i'm also separating them so that they just are better in in the mixture <laughs> they're not all chunked up but yeah i'm just separating these and then i've got some napa cabbage oops, that i've already cut up in here i need some chicken broth green onions and then a just plain white onion all right you guys the meat is all cooked it smells so good i've cut up my wontongs these i'm gonna just throw away but i've cut them up in little linear pieces like this i'm going to put in four cups of chicken broth and some water i have to check how much i need to add but that that's the next step with a bit more fish sauce all right so this is the soup the only thing i will say you guys i literally spent so much time separating all the little wonton things like strips and then i cut them up but like you have to re-separate them before putting them in the container because i did not do that and a lot of them stuck together so the taste is definitely there but some wontongs are kind of like all stuck together so some of them are going to be undercooked some of them are going to be overcooked and that sucks so learn from my mistakes the recipe is linked down below though it is so good good morning you guys it is the next day and it's almost eight o'clock i'm just about to head to the gym i'm gonna get a quick little workout in before the day starts and then we've got some errands to run which i'm gonna bring you guys with me hopefully we find some good things i'm really really excited so yeah we're gonna get this day started with the workout i haven't gone to the gym in so long i've just been so busy and i have honestly have not been wanting to go to the gym so I just haven't gone this morning we're going to the gym we need it also I don't know what's going on with my cats I'm wearing my new sports bra the like burgundy one that I got red merlot from Lulu very excited and we're gonna go do a leg workout I'm kind of dreading dreading it but I feel like it's gonna be a good one today so I'm off to the gym I'm back you guys and that was brutal that was such a brutal workout I really don't go to the gym in the morning anymore 
and doing a leg workout in the morning is just on another level and whew, I am exhausted but it was a good workout and I'm really happy that my workout is done like that's really nice and like this week I'm working a little bit later so I'm gonna be able to go to the gym in the morning so that's gonna be a lot of fun all right so I've got my coffee my water my phone and this is what we're going with right now i've got leggings this little crew neck some white sneakers and i'm just debating between two different coats let me try them on okay this was my original thought like this coat that i got from h&m last year with the leggings the sneakers i think this could look really cute i feel it would look cuter with like a baseball cap but i really don't want to put a baseball cap on and it's really not sunny outside so i would just look kind of weird with a baseball cap so this is option number one it's a solid option and I can easily just take the coat off if I get too warm. Because it is a very heavy coat for H&M. Like, I'm impressed with this quality. So, this is option number one, which I do think is cute and kind of puts me out of my comfort zone. I feel like I should do this just to, like, go out of my comfort zone. And then option two. Now, this is a classic for me. Just, like, a crew neck, my puffer vest, and my sneakers. I feel like I'm leaning towards this one but also because it's not super freezing outside and the other one i'm so hot in it whereas this one like yes i'm gonna be cold like walking to my car but like once i'm in the mall and the stores i'm gonna be completely fine with this so i think and i'm not gonna be that cold honestly like it's really not that cold outside but like i think this might be the winner for today like i just you know sometimes it's hard for me to like get out of my comfort zone but let's go we're going to run our errands now so i just tried it on with a scarf i don't know how i feel about it i just don't want my neck to be too exposed because it is like cold outside and i think i'm gonna put the scarf on i'm just gonna leave it in the car though when i go in the mall just to, like keep myself a little bit cozier made it let's go see what they have you guys look what i found i found these cloths with little trees on it this one with little trees on it and this one that's just white with little trees on it and then i found this blanket also with trees on it next stop struck tube for the furniture you guys this is exactly the one that i want and i think it might be like for sale right now otherwise it doesn't come back in stock until like end of december so i'm kind of hoping it's available right now because i would literally leave with it today you guys i got it <laughs> i got it and because i honestly I used to work here and the manager is still the same or like she was the assistant manager when i worked here but now she's the manager she gave me a 10 percent discount so i'm so happy now we're going home and we're bringing this in right away you guys look at this look at how cute it looks in our entryway i will say the only thing that i just noticed is that like it doesn't touch the back of the wall and there's like easily an inch right here and that's because of the way the legs are made because they kind of come a little bit more outwards but you can't tell when you're looking at it straight like this and I think it makes our space so homey and I love having a drawer because we always have like our sunglasses up on top now it's in here and I'm so happy with how this looks we also have like a mess in the entryway but like these things are all going like we're not keeping these here and now i'm just gonna sell this one i'm gonna put it on facebook marketplace but like how cute i love it it just makes our space so homey that's what we needed like some wooden furniture in here i love the color of it it's kind of like a neutral wood color it's not too warm it's not too cold it's just like, just like the perfect wood color i love it okay added some little decor pieces i took the like round marble plater off and we're gonna go with this for now i know this is like wood on wood so i might end up switching that i do have another green tree that i did not end up using and i could probably put this one over there so we'll see but like so far i love the little books on the side right here with the little green candle this little thing but maybe switch out that but overall i think it looks really cute um i'm loving this it's, it's so much more like cozy and it goes really well with our couch and the mirror it just overall looks really really good all right you guys it's a little bit later and i was craving chocolate chip cookies so we just ran to the grocery store to get some butter because i was out of butter and we're gonna make a cookie recipe that i found on tiktok they look really really good i do need to let them rest with it which i don't do usually when i make cookies so i'm hoping that this makes a difference which i know it will and then we're also browning the butter which i feel like that's gonna make a difference as well because people rave about brown butter so 
for making chocolate chip cookies i will have the recipe down below for you guys i'm not going to have a direct link i think unless i'm able to link the tiktok itself so i'll have the detailed recipe if i can't do that and then um i'll show you guys like we'll do a taste test together later okay i just took the cookies out i only made four um i have more in the fridge i'm probably gonna put them in the freezer but like they didn't spread out as i thought they would they kind of started to but they're like really really thick still so we're gonna test them out i'm gonna let them cool for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna give them a try oh my god did you guys see that did you see how gooey they look in the middle and yet they're still fully cooked like these are gonna be so good cheers wow Ten out of ten recipe is linked down below what is up you guys i'm just coming on to end this vlog it is now the next day and i'm probably going to be starting off a new vlog so i'm ending this one right now i really hope you guys enjoyed i'll have all the recipes linked down below also don't forget to shop anna luisa's sale that they're having right now i'll have a link down below directly to their website for you to shop any of their things if you're looking for the perfect gift i would definitely recommend them especially if you have some family members or friends that you know really want to get some good quality jewelry but you don't want to break the bank Anna Luisa is the way to go. So I'll have that link down below for you guys. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. It's like I forgot I was fine. Let you treat me any kind of way. Now I'm free, I gotta celebrate. You couldn't see everything and stay.